Hello everybody, this is Joshua Phillips. This is the 12 balls math problem. This is one of my favorite math riddles. This will be a two-part video. This part will just be a presentation of the problem and some very brief discussions, maybe even a hint if you listen clear through the video. And then the second part will be my solution, a discussion of how I got to the solution. What I want to focus on and hopefully if you're commenting on what I want you to write out, is the ideas and the little things you observed while trying to solve the problem. So this is the 12 ball problem. Here we go. So we have 12 balls and we have a scale that will tell us by you know leaning which basket has more weight in it and now the, the the actual puzzle one of these 12 balls exactly one of the 12 is either a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter than it is supposed to be now we have the scale and obviously it'd be easy to just you know put one here one here then the next two one here one here Eventually the scale will tip, you know, one of those two is the problem, you check it. So the puzzle is using the scale three times, only three times, can you find which of the 12 balls is defective and whether it's too heavy or too light. So again, we have 12 of these ball bearings that are all supposed to weigh the same amount. One of them is either a little bit too heavy or a little bit too light. Using a simple balance scale, only three times, you have to explain how you would find the defective ball and whether the defect is that it's too heavy or that it's too light. So again, this is just the presentation of the video of the problem. My solution will be up later. What I want you to focus on is one, noting anything you observe. As an example, one initial idea might be to just take, let's say, three balls and put them here, and the next three and put them here. Well, suddenly we're going to notice, huh, that doesn't seem like it'll work, because if the scale's even, then we're left with six balls and only two measures, and that sounds really hard to pull up. So anything you notice, you want to write out. Any interesting observations you think might be helpful? Maybe start looking at a smaller version of the problem. That's an, that's an important hint. So this is just the presentation of the problem. I really love this problem. It's one of my favorites. There are actually, I believe, two very distinct solutions that both work in a very different way. So if you're watching, please respond. Um, Wherever you see this, please comment and share. My solution will be up later, discussing in length how I got it, lots of cool observations, and some other cool things like how to solve this if we start with, say, 36 or 108 balls. So thank you, everybody. Have a nice day.